happy Tuesday. Welcome to another live stream. I'm looking forward to hanging out with all of you today and I am carrying on with my Lady Death cover. And I will be working on the color prep, the color plan, and then working a bit more on the alternate version. So um, it's going to be fun. Huge shout out to Coffin Comics for allowing me permission to live stream the process and share all of that with you. And I have my iced coffee. Oh, and now you guys can actually see the color of my <laughs> milk. <laughs> um, but it's my iced coffee and I'm going to hang out with you. It's going to be fun. Uh, there is a chance that I may, um, it's very hot here right now, we're in the middle of a heat wave. Uh, it is possible that because here in Canada we are not used to these kind of heat waves, it does seem to affect my Wi-Fi. So in, in case uh, my Wi-Fi dies, <laughs> I love you all, uh, be prepared for that because it happened yesterday. Um, it may happen again. I apologize for the fans, but it is currently 34.5 in my room. Uh, for anybody who can read centigrade, 34.5. Let's see. I think I can change it to Fahrenheit. Okay, so that's the temperature in Fahrenheit in my bedroom. <laughs> so, don't mock me. I'm not used to this kind of heat. Richard, Philip, Jeff, Emmanuel, Matthias, hello and welcome to the stream. <clears throat> I'm so excited to be working on this with you guys. Uh, I'm trying, Finn. I have one little fan here pointed right at me and one giant like industrial sized fan back there also pointing at me. <laughs> Devin, hello, welcome to the stream. And I um, are in my, I'm in my one pair of like shorts. <laughs> uh, well, I have a few other like shorts items, but yes, I, I don't really own very much in the way of summer clothes. So they mostly resemble pajamas. In other words, I'm not standing up today. Good evening, Rob. Welcome to the stream. All right. So I'm going to be working in Photoshop. I scanned this yesterday, sent it off for flats, and um, my guy who works on flats for me got them back to me within hours. He is such a winner. Um, and so I'm going to be working on that. Uh, just so everybody knows, especially those on Twitch who don't see my description, I am using, I'm working in Photoshop Creative Cloud. Um, and then I am working on a Wacom Cintiq 22 HD and I have a wireless keyboard and a stylus that goes with the Cintiq. Rox, hello! So, just gonna move that out of the way. We're gonna get ourselves all set up here. Mark, hello and welcome. It's great to have you here. Okay, just getting this down a little bit. All right. So I'll show you guys where my head is at with the alternate version. I have erased any and all nips involved um, and I'll show you how I set these up. Now I started drawing the alternate version on paper and I kept drawing idea after idea and I didn't like any of her alternate outfit ideas. So it's supposed to be a little bit more risque than the main version, or at least a little bit more in the lingerie arena, okay? Uh, Lady Death does not do, for the most part, topless covers. She wears sheer cloth and things like that. So, um, I am, so I was working on that. I didn't like any of them, so then I moved to working on it digitally so that I would stop chewing up the paper. Um, and so I'll show you guys what I have. This has been approved and the alternate out outfit, <clears throat> excuse me, the alternate outfit has also been approved. Hip hip hooray, especially to Brian for answering me so quickly. 
Hello, Dawn. You thought you were going to get to coloring done today. You underestimated the distraction plan we have set up. Oh no, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Galart, hello. Christy, Jin, hello. Lurk away. Summer, welcome to the stream, love. Steve isn't here to make fun of my coffee. David Kick, hello. Probably don't have the humidity, which makes it much worse. I agree, David. Humidity is really, it makes it so much more like sticky. <laughs> uh, we have very dry heat here, so you're right. Okay, <clears throat> what coffee? This coffee, it's my iced coffee. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna zoom out so you guys can see. Actually, you know what, the, the base doesn't change that much. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what I have. First thing I do is I re refill in the whole body. Um, and actually, let me erase this right here. So I fill in the body as if there were no clothes. Um, <clears throat> So just the, pretend in your head that she's wearing a bodysuit. All right, and then um, I took off her shoes and gave her toesy woesies. True dead men, it's 90 degrees out. Oh, I'm so sorry, it felt like 100. It's 94 Fahrenheit in my art room right now. I got it to prove it to you guys. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I, I'm not sure what temperature it is outside, but that is the temperature in my room. That's why I'm always complaining about the heat. I don't give two shits about how hot it is outside. It's inside that I actually feel. <laughs> yes, you'll be able to see the flats as well, what the fan art, because I'm going to need to work on them shortly. All right. Oh, sorry, Brandon. Twitch is being a pain. You know, just so everybody knows, with the heat wave that it seems all of us are experiencing, yesterday the Wi-Fi service went out in our entire neighborhood, at least anyone who was using the provider that we use. Um, <clears throat> so uh, it may happen again today. I, I have no way of knowing, and chances are it's affecting your Wi-Fi as well. I am not a scientist. I have no idea the correlation, but it seems here when it gets really hot, we lose our Wi-Fi. <laughs> so uh, just so everybody knows, <clears throat> the uh, if I completely disappear on you, it could be my my Wi-Fi or your Wi-Fi. <laughs> You had a power outage the other night. Yeah, it seems like, you know, the grids, I'm going to sound all fancy, the grids are a little bit uh, strained at the moment. <laughs> 36 to 38 outside. Wow. Hanu Soul, hello. Okay, so this is what I do. Firstly, I take off the clothes from the main version and I set up a blank slate for the outfit. Then I will show you guys my scribbles. Here are my scribbles for the idea. Let me turn up the opacity. So what I'm planning to do is to give her an outfit that in some ways emulates the thingamajigger that's behind her. Again, none of this makes any sense. I don't intend for it to. It's abstract art. Um, yeah, your horny spike is gone for the risque version. Sorry, Hanusol. <laughs> Always blame Sherlock. Aw, Summer, I would miss you too. First, I take off clothes. Best stream ever. <laughs> yeah, no. Mitch, great to have you here. Okay, so I plan to make it like a gold cage-like situation that she's got around her neck, or coming down the sides of her body, and then on her wrists. And it, what it's going to be doing is holding up sheer cloth in a uh, strategically placed sheer cloth. 
So, um, so here are, is my rough scribbles, and this is what I sent in to Coffin Comics for approval, just saying this is where my head's at, let me know if it's okay. They wrote back right away, which is very awesome of them, and said it's good to go. So now I'm working on actually inking all of those little pieces. I don't want it to look, I don't want it to look symmetrical, I don't want it to look overly planned. Uh, I want it to, to, to almost look like, like an abstract art piece with, you know, random joining pieces of metal that have no pattern to them. So that's what I'm going for here. Um, I was inspired by a, the thing that I drew in the back, which again, I have no idea. I was scribbling and I was like, huh, it actually looks relatively decent. Um, and then also I'm inspired by, I was looking at um, couch designs. I know, I, as I've told you, my outfit inspiration can come from the most random things. And I stumbled upon on Pinterest a bunch of couch designs that were like kind of modern meets industrial design. And they were like, think a pipe grid. Um, yeah, a pipe grid that has cushions kind of shoved in, in all the random little pipe grids that then somehow made a chair out. <laughs> there was somewhere you could place your butt. <laughs> and just looking at the pipe designs, I'm like, oh, okay, that is such an interesting idea. Like the way that the pipes were set up is as if you were looking at a 3D schematic of like a water system underground or something, you know? Um, and so that's kind of what I'm going for. And then of course I'm just spinning it to be close. <laughs> like the ladybird in a gilded cage. Oh, that's funny. And now that you have the right hair color, when are we going to see your Lady Death cosplay? Yeah, uh, I would need <laughs> very, uh, I would need to be like maybe 20 years younger and you know, <laughs> not me. <laughs> Thank you, David Ray. You like where my head is at for this, you approve. Yay, thank you, Devin. Thank you, Jeff and Mark. I really love this. It's different from any Lady, any lady Death stuff I've seen. Yay. Uh, what I'm running into, as I suppose I could maybe be so bold as to declare myself uh, having been around for a minute drawing Lady Death covers, I chickened out of declaring myself a veteran Lady Death cover artist. I'm, I'm not going to be so bold yet. But I've been drawing her for a minute, and I keep running into, oh shit, I already did that. <laughs> and I'll think I have a good idea, and I'm like, God damn it, I already drew that too. So, um, yes, things are getting weird. <laughs> River Dragon, hello! Extra risque version with just the metal and no fabric. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Jeff. I don't know if I can say that yet because I've seen other artists that have definitely like kicked my ass in that arena and, and there are a fair few of them. <laughs> but you know, I've, I've been drawing her for a minute, let's say that. So my iced tea was actually ice a few minutes ago. Now it's like lukewarm, uh, <laughs> some, some lukewarm bath water temperature iced coffee. <laughs> Steph, thank you. I'm I'm really roasty toasty, Steph. Carmen, hello. Okay, Carmen missed the explanation of Lady Death's outfit, so I'm just gonna do a quickie for Carmen. Uh, this is the plan. So I'm giving her a gold. I think it. I think it's gonna be gold. Metal cage like abstract art looking situation that is holding up sheer cloth 
to give her her risque outfit. It somewhat emulates the, the design in the background and then also just emulates, I don't know, metal. <laughs> My ice cream is, oh, sorry, Summer. Jesus Alberto, welcome to the stream. All right, so there's that. Now I will show you guys the main outfit. So here is the main version. Ooh, I need to turn off the patch outfit. <laughs> um, so here we go. And I'm going to turn on the, the flats. So these are the flats that were sent to me. Um, as you guys may know, I usually uh, do some changes to the flats before I go live with you guys. Um, and I set it up where, you know, how I'd like it. I did not have time to do that this time. I'm still working on my ridiculous idea for her alternate outfit. And it's really hot and I am not very productive when I am roasting. I wouldn't be the worst thing to draw a cover that is a direct link to a previous cover like sequential covers depicting two moments in Lady Death's life. That is a good idea, Devin. Then we'd have to call her Empress White Widow the Legend. <laughs> And watched one of your vids. It definitely helped get my mind off healing. Thank you. Oh, Cade, for starters, so much love to you. I am so sorry for everything you're going through. I hope you're feeling better. I hope you're getting stronger. So much love and thoughts and positive vibes that you get better soon. And I'm so happy that if we were able to help you get your mind off of things for a few minutes, well, then that is success for for me and for all of us so much love to you yes it was the quickie for Carmen no one's gonna let me live it down so I might as well just you know lean in <laughs> Ryan Morris thank you shut her down and go run through a sprinkler yeah well you know if if my Wi-Fi times out yes that's what I will do Hello, Kyle. Okay, so the first thing that I do when I get, <laughs> the first thing that I do when I get my uh, flats is I delete the background because I do not need it. So I'm just gonna delete all of this and it makes it possible that I can work on the background freely without having to select all this shit. So we're gonna do this nice and quick and then Actually, when we're halfway through this, I will actually show you guys the layout so that you can see my color plan. Layout, the bam. So this is the color plan that I scribbled out because I honestly didn't draw the background, I just painted it. So Jason, hello. So here is uh, the color plan. So you guys can see it, I just digitally foofed it and sent that off. So this is the plan. It's going to be golden behind her head. The light that's coming out like spokes is just the stuff that's highlighting on the metal. Um, and then we're going to do in the honeycomb things like I explained to you in those little sections here, those, um, there's going to be blood pouring out of some of them. And then, as you can see, the throne is going to be dark obsidian stone, if I can pull that off. Um, and then she's just got the, the red swoop of cloth. So this is the layout that I sent in that was chosen. Oh, thank you, Mark. So I managed to rescue a naughty pumpkin queen from Flea Bay yesterday, but the mystery envelope spiked to 300 at the last second. Ooh, which mystery envelope? Mental break, thank you. <laughs> Mr. E, hello, how's it going? Mystery, this is for you specifically, and then when Tom and Juan get on, who are also giving me shit about whining about the weather that is the temperature in my room currently 94.1 fahrenheit 
That's why I'm complaining that it's hot. <laughs> that is my indoor temperature. That's why I'm whining so much. Oh, the hom homage one. Oh, I'm sorry, Brandon. <laughs> no, there's there's no point in getting me a portable air con. All I want is like my 10 minutes of sympathy, like my 10 minutes of fame, because in like three days or something like that, it's going to go back to barely even feeling like summer. And I spend most of summer in a light sweater or a hoodie. So, you know, I'm just letting my whining commence for these few days and then we can go back to normal time and a normal dawn. <laughs> Sympathy! That was the mystery envelope you got. Nice, Carmen. Would I like some of your green tea melting ice cream for the heat? <laughs> All right. Yes, Jeff has brought the violin for the sympathy. Excellent. All right. So what we're doing now is we are removing the background color because I don't want it. I always do this. And I feel like it's just going to, oh, no, I can't do that. It's just going to waste my flatter's time and confuse him, I think, if I'm like, please don't do the background, because, like, which part of the background do I mean don't do? Anyway, so I just delete this, takes me a few minutes, no big. And then, um, a lot of times when there's something like this, like if I was going to have to do this selection all the time, which I will never have to do again, but sometimes with like hair that's swirling all around a bunch of stuff, or if she's got a really complicated outfit or whatever the case may be, I will um, actually have pre-selected layers so that I can literally just click on the hair all at once, for instance. I don't know if I explained that very clearly, but it really works for me. Uh, Philip and Mr. E and Tom just ruining my sympathy, please. They just won't have it. Resting bitch face is especially strong in the heat. Oh, is it? Am I seeming grumpy? Ninety four inside. That's late spring weather here. Have Dan behind you spraying mists on you to cool you down. <laughs> Oh, Santa Bomb, I'm sorry for missing your comment. Thank you. That's so nice of you to say. But what temperature is it inside your guys' rooms, Jason? That's what I'm getting at. I have also lived in serious heat in Florida, <laughs> in California, but not Arizona heat. New Mexico, but yes, it's, it's the room heat. But anyway, we used to have an, an air conditioner in here, but it was so annoying because you had to like keep it in the window all year round, which is literally, or at least, you know, setting it up was a pain in the ass. And for three or four days that it gets hot like this, it's not worth it. So I just complain. But it's a dry heat, man. <laughs> Jeff was playing violin for me on Facebook. <laughs> Cambodia humidity and the heat is way worse. Thank you, Mark. That's all I wanted. That was all I was getting at. Mark is the winner. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Hello, Juan. Welcome to the
the stream today. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal some of my colors from here because I was happy with these colors. So we're going to do a little thiefing, professional thiefery. Yes, it must be the right red, my friends, or I get most upset. Math artist, hello! <laughs> you really are, Jason, damn it. Oh, and Jason, did you see the, the alternate version or did you miss that? Okay, there's my mid-tone blue. There we have it. You missed it. All right, guys, we're going to just show Jason the alternate version. Here we go. So this is the main, the main version. Jason, I did start drawing the, the patch on paper and I didn't really have an idea yet and I was trying things and I kept, I was gonna ruin the page. So I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna take this to the computer so I can actually see what works. Um, and honestly, I've been doing that a lot lately where I um, will, will plan out and draw the patch digitally and then I just transfer it to board later because there are some things that I think the patch is better served for me to figure out on the computer where I can do layers as opposed to erasing over and over on the piece of paper especially when I don't have a good idea. Um, and this one, I think I really came up with something that <laughs> literally I'm dreading having to put this on board because it's such a nightmare. But anyway, you'll see. So here we go. This is blank slate layer where I remove all the outfit pieces. I removed her shoes to prove to you that actually toes are not that difficult to draw. <laughs> Um, so yes, since there was so much talk about feet, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to fucking draw Lady Death with the no shoes on. <laughs> Booyah. No, it, it took me three seconds. But anyway, here we go. So here is blank slate time. And then Jason, here is my sketch. Uh... My plan is to give her some sort of abstract style metal cages that are holding up sheer cloth, uh, which makes her a risque outfit. Um, I erased the nipples because we are on Twitch and Facebook and that is a no-no. And so what I'm working on right now is, well, not right now, but earlier today, is actually inking in all of this because it needs to have, you know, a proper proper pattern patterning and depth so the metal pieces I am really trying to give them an abstract look and feel I'm not trying to have them have any kind of distinguishable pattern um, I really don't want that so I'm going with something a little bit more abstracty I was inspired by um, couches and like abstract modern art couches because they were done with pipes and the cushions were kind of pushed into the pipes that made a seat and it was just the pipes that got me thinking, huh, I can do something kind of patterny like that. So, <laughs> Kara is here but not here. <laughs> Jeff, you know, you're, you're tagging Edwin. I would say that, that he was definitely an inspiration as well. Did that couch have nips? It did not, no. The couch was just a bunch of pipes and cushions. <laughs> That's very nice of you, Jason. Uh, you know, just hold though, because I still need to actually draw this patch on a piece of paper as a patch for you. And as Jeff can attest, that takes me a long time to get around to doing that. And I would rather that I have that done. <laughs> yeah, I saw the pipes and thought of 
have the, the, the 3D piping, and I'm like, you know what? I, we can work with this. Oh, sorry, Kara. All right, so I'm going to turn this off, and we're going to start working on the actual, the real version here. And we're going to get the flats made. Thank you, Central Park. <clears throat> All right. I think also you need to see the couch now. Yeah, I'll see if I can. Um, I'll find that picture and send it. To, I think I saved it. Oh, yes. It was called The Lawless Sofa by Evan Fay. Nibbly couches are tight. <laughs> All right, we need to actually do that and get her skin the proper color. I mean, right now I can't get everything perfectly the right color because then they're all going to not, um, they're not going to all, uh, I won't be able to select them separately. I need that sofa, but yikes, 17K. <laughs> yeah, I, I just came upon it. And then that kind of sparked the idea of going with something that's kind of where you're mixing pipes with cloth and from there I kind of went into all right but then I could need to make it kind of match the background so then I did the patterning I would say honestly I mean correct me if I'm wrong but there's nothing similar about the two it's just it sparks your brain that's why I think look at weird random shit when you're trying to come up with some kind of outfit design at least for me I will look at the most random stuff uh, wine glasses, insects, <laughs> lizards. It really helps kind of get your mind out of the, the regular, oh, I'm going to draw her in like, a, you know, bra and panties. Must not be the comfiest couch ever. <laughs> yeah, probably not. random bumps and swoops in this couch totally make sense with the skulls here oh yeah I looked at the couch this morning though I had already drawn the the, the skulls so it has nothing to do with anything besides I was looking at it this morning because I was really running into some design issue situations Teachers got to teach. <laughs> I'm very impressed with all of you that you actually went and looked it up. Respect. Ah. So I need to do this. So I need to take my line art and take the opacity way down. Um, and then I'm going to go to the pencil tool. So when you're cleaning up your flats or if you're flatting your own work, um, you need to use the pencil tool so that there's no aliasing. Oops, I'm on the wrong layer. So that there's no aliasing or you're going to have a really hard time getting a clean selection when you go to select whatever it is you're doing. <laughs> I 
So message received, Dawn shops, very designer stuff. Oh no, no, I just, I, um, I browse through Pinterest a lot. the entire skull situation uh, one color I don't want to have all the skulls separated like this so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill all that in I don't really need it to be separated in color and tone that's a little bit more detail than I need in my life <laughs> to see what I would like to do because I feel like the color tone of this piece is very similar to the naughty Halloween queen cover <laughs> and I'm just hoping beyond hope that I have a version that has the nips covered because I want to swipey swipe her skin tone so Let's see if I can swipey swipe the skin tone. Halloween Queen, finals. No, hmm, maybe my Twitch one. Sorry everybody, just give me a moment. I'm trying to get my Halloween Queen cover. I think I have a Twitch folder where I kind of prepared everything. Slideshow. Let's see if she's in here. Halloween Queen. It's a lot of files in my um, in my Twitch folder, like that makes the slideshow. <laughs> I found it. Alright, I'm just gonna copy that to my desktop really quickly. Sorry, I'm just working somewhere else at the moment. Make sure that she's got nips covered. Yes. All right. The the file quality is going to be kind of shit, but The quality is a little bit bad, but I can hopefully steal a mid-tone color. I really need to just make myself Lady Death swatch colors. And I always cover the lips and I don't keep the eyebrows colored or anything like that. I, uh, I do all of that manually. So let's just go ahead and flat her eyes so that I have those as a selective thing. Hello, Adam, welcome to the stream. zoom in a little bit, make sure I'm right up to her hair color. Thank you, 
you came in. I hope you are as well. Um, no, no painting tonight. Tonight is digital colors. So is the whole Rothic crew going to be at Planet? Um, I, I believe right now it's me and Ebass and JP Roth. I don't know about Mike Chrome or Sveen. Um, and for me it's, you know, Canada border, pending Canada borders opening as promised, but I'm hoping so. You see sweat reflecting on my skin. It's just because I've got greasy skin, I'm telling you. I'm not actually sweating right now. Okay, so some of these colors I'm just going to leave. Um, I'm just going to leave them as they are because this is for the flats. So if a color is two items that, anyway, it doesn't matter. Long story short, I need some of these colors to be kind of odd because I, um, you guys are distracting me. I need a lot of these colors to be different from one another so that I can select them. It's Empress glistening. Let me see what I look like. Yeah, kind of all shiny and stuff. It sucks. That is my greasy skin and it's most unfortunate. <laughs> and yes, it is hot. <laughs> No, I'm not going to hear back about Emerald City until August, I think. Sorry, everyone. If you make fun of me, though, I'm very sensitive about my greasy skin. If you make fun of me, I'm going. I'm leaving. <laughs> Also so sensitive, yeah. All right, this is the colors we're going for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make myself a second copy of this file. Um, and that will be the one that I actually start coloring on. If you go, it'll be my first one just to get your sig on some books. Yay! <laughs> that will be so awesome, Baron. Um, you know, my plan is to be there. I'm really hoping that I can be there. I would love it. So we'll have to see. All right. I need to do one little thing here or I, the feet are going to... We're going to get some weird pink going on, but I need to be able to select the foot separately from the leg. What? <gasps> Have I been on that layer all along? is all good. Oh, Summer, are you leaving? I'm so sorry I keep missing your chats, it seems. Staying in near hotel in Kansas City like plum wine stumbling distance close. Nice! See you later, Mark. Bring the fine art print as I'd rather it take, take two hours in the car than 23 to Sworn Fest. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, is Steve here? What? Steve, hello! 
<laughs> to highlight my features. Thank you, Rox. <laughs> Let me see what Summer says. I feel like I missed some Summer comments, I think. Oh, it only scrolls up, scrolls up so far. Bummer. <laughs> it is. It's my Summer Sauna stream. That's a brilliant way to put, put it. Oh, you're not leaving yet. Okay. That is correct, Dragon. I draw traditionally, I am coloring it digitally right now. I've been in and out working on a project outside. Ooh, is it bonsai related? Ooh, fancy, Rob. Right, is there anything else you know I think I'm gonna separate this I'm gonna make a divide between the the boob and the under boob here so that I can hopefully get some decent shadows going on if need be boop, boop. Do I need anything else separated? Yes, I need this section of the neck to not be connected to the face because then I have a, I have a hard time getting a nice clean under chin shadow line. So I, I definitely separate this in the flats whenever I get them from my guy. So there's a few things that I kind of do myself as you are seeing. Um, to make sure that I've got what I need. And then I always flat my patch version. And this time it's gonna be a pain. <laughs> what law is Dawn? <laughs> Automatic irrigation for my irises. I thought you were talking about eyes for a second, Steve, because you're an eye doctor, right? <laughs> and I'm like, how would somebody do automatic irrigation for their eyes? And now I get it that you're gardening. And I'm very ridiculous. You know, Mark, I do not count the time. What matters to me is that I meet my deadline and that the publisher or creator that I am working for is pleased with the final product. I don't count hours. It is, I don't know. I just don't. <laughs> I confess, Dawn, I have a large eye collection. Ah! For real? That's like Halloween house kind of scary. <laughs> Good evening, David. All right, so we are going to leave the crazy colors that are happening here, and I'm gonna duplicate this, and I'm gonna color it, I'm gonna color it, I'm gonna call it colors. All right, now I'm calling this one colors. All right, and so now I'm gonna start actually deciding what colors I want all of these things to be. No, no, a real eye collection. Yeah, I feel like I, I understood that. And it's scary. <laughs> the live ones don't like to part with them easily. <laughs> uh, you know, it is, I've really taken it to heart that I have no um, sarcasm meter. So I'm never sure. <laughs> Are they in a pickle jar? Yeah, see, that's where my mind is going. You know, a little bit American Horror Story style. <laughs> you misread it, Dawn. I don't have an eye collection. I can't even <laughs> read today. 
Steve, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I misread. He does not have an eye collection. Well, shit. Apologies, Steve. <laughs> yes, apparently my sarcasm meter is broken. I have been informed of this as a fact. All right, now we're going to actually fix the colors and set them up as we would like them. This is the color scheme I'm going for, so I'm just going to start stealing and swiping. Santa Bomb, not a collection, just an assortment. <laughs> but no rain so far. <laughs> Suppose my creepy cred would have skyrocketed if I let everybody believe I have an eye collection. Yes, absolutely. We should have a sign like Leonard in Big Bang Theory has for Sheldon. Yes, I think I do need a sign. David, hello. Nice to see you here. We've been doing well. You have an assortment of assorted collections. <laughs> Walkman, hello and welcome to the stream. Mystery, I will play violin for you. The sympathy violin is playing. Ree, ree. <laughs> oh, I need to see this. I'm in your spot. What did I do? All right, I'm checking rocks. <laughs> yes, I definitely need that. So I really did think uh, as far as, I, th I thought as far along as, you know, her setting and the background. I have really not given the, uh, the rest of this much thought, but you know what? We're going to do a little bit more swiping. Swipe! Steal! For anyone who is not familiar with my work, I am stealing my own cover colors, so before you start worrying that some thieving is happening, I'm thieving myself. Alright, and then I need to look at what obsidian stone actually looks like and see <laughs> I no, I am I'm swiping my work. All right, quick look at obsidian stone. Perhaps I will even bring some over onto the into Photoshop. Okay, obsidian stone. Woo, so it is very shiny when it's polished and then it's a very interesting. Ooh, I used to have one of these in my rock collection. Obsidian is cool looking. I want one. I found a little piece of obsidian stone rock when I lived in Honduras and I kept it for a super long time. I was not aware that it was obsidian, but it looked exactly like this. And I think I want to do probably a mixture between raw and polished. 
for rough and polished. Here we go. Perfect picture from Wikipedia. I will be using that to look at. Save image. Raw obsidian. Sorry guys, I'm not looking at the chat right now. I'm gonna miss some comments, I'm sure. Please don't be bothered with me. I will be back. Save image. All right. And we're getting ourselves some obsidian stone. My eyes are burning. I'm really hot. Rock, and not as cool as an eye collection, true. When I was a kid, I was into collecting rocks and uh, stamps. And then for a while, I um, got into catching tadpoles and, you know, waiting for them to become frogs. And that was very fun for me. You won't miss these comments. Okay. Hoplifter stealing from work caught you red-handed. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm checking, not my crew. Shoplifter stealing from work caught you red-handed. That was the flats that were true. No, that was the layout that was chosen. Oh, I see what you mean, Santa Bomb. Okay, when I submit um, to a publisher for you know my cover ideas, it's re it's kind of expected that you submit at least two. Uh, some publishers expect more than that. Um, I only found out recently that they, that Zenoscope wanted three layouts, and I have always only sent them two. <laughs> You know, ignorance is bliss. Um, and it's so that they have a choice between the two uh, to pick whichever one they would like. And so I sent in two. And this is the one that was chosen. All right, catching up. You won't miss these comments. Now much, not much going on in chat, so don't worry. You have transported to planet Obsidian. Oh, yes, I have. <laughs> Confidence overflows in temperature it is now 95 degrees in my office 35 35 flat centigrade 95 flat fahrenheit yeah of course santa bomb sometimes um sometimes i will show all the different versions but in general i don't i just show whichever one was picked Yes, she is a very darkness kind of character. You don't understand the collecting of stamps. Honestly, I don't either, but I was eight, and I guess it was fun for me. Hello, Robert! Philip, I don't want you to tell me that's light summer weather. What temperature is it in your room right now? I will get my sympathy violin from every last one of you that keeps mocking me if it's the last thing I do. It. <laughs> Just the right temperature to not have to cook tonight. Yes. Well, I have a fan. See, David gets it. I like the color of my skull. Nice shade of gray blue. Oh, yes. It's 100 degrees in your room. Okay, Baron wins. <laughs> 
Lack of AC is not sympathy inducing as my folks used to say you can't stop people from being stupid. <laughs> Fair enough. I shall stop. <laughs> what kind of sandwiches are we having for dinner? <laughs> You know, that's a really good question. I'm really trying to get my kids interested in, in cold chicken noodle salad. I really like it. None of them want it. So I'm really working on them and so far no luck. I might just have to make some for myself. Ice cream for dinner, now that's an idea. All right, the background I had pretty dark. So it's gonna go Let's just take the darker tone. All right, here we go. We're going to just place that in the background. Ba-bam. <laughs> and I've got cold light behind, warm light also in the back. So now I can color that. Uh, the strips on her arms, I don't know if I want, well, I don't know if I want them to be black. I don't think so. I can't decide what my, like, extra color is going to be with Lady Death. She's primarily silver, and because the background is so dark, I might actually really just punch up the silver and then go gold for the risque version. The room temperature is 90. Okay, Philip, you have my respect. I will stop complaining. Oh, well, that's the smart person way to do that, Devin. I very much went the like, ooh, I can put them all in a stamp collecting book. Yay! Semi shiny brass on the cage will be nice. Well, you mean gold, right? Twenty two Celsius in my living room, so I have a heating blanket on. Why do you have a heating blanket at twenty two degrees? Oh, I agree, Central. That is really that is really rough. It's violin playing time. Everybody <laughs> has some difficult weather they're dealing with. <laughs> I feel sorry for everyone. Ooh. <laughs> Dorngrass and Raiders, hello and welcome. You were getting serenaded by me and my air violin for, you know, everyone that's having Hot weather, heat waves, uh, humidity, <laughs> and the weeps and the sads. <laughs> Plays the world's tiniest violin. La -la. Thank you so much for rating. Dornbrus, please feel free to post your links and um, where we can find you. What were you working on? Welcome everybody. My name is Dom McTagg. I'm a comic book artist. I am currently digitally coloring a cover that I'm working on for Coffin Comics of Lady Death. And um, I'm setting up what's called the flats, which is like the color pre-selection areas and coming in, coming up with like my basic color plan. <laughs> Been raining here for the past week solid at least three to four showers every day and in the upper 80s, so it's humid as hell. Yeah. Oh, I'm very, very grateful that my chair is not leather. 
watching in Twitch and on Facebook just so I can see the comments and know what's being talked about. <laughs> that is advisable. Very smart, Robert. Unnamed gent. Oh, hello. Welcome again. Thanks for joining us. All right, here we're going back to my scribbly sketch. So the blood that's pouring out, I'm just going to kind of wing it on that, you know. Um, the, the iron bits in the back, I actually wanted them to be pretty dark. But I, now I'm not, I'm not sure if I should go. Yeah, we won't see that. Never mind. Sounds like Florida. We have a thunderstorm right now. Yay, humidity. <laughs> Hello, Zane. A lot of coffee helps. What is real in your world? Hey, did some traditional tattoo stuff today. Awesome. All right, let's take a quick look. I'm going to check out your... Uh, Instagram. Thank you so much for the raid, Dorngrass. Coins, the interest for most people is a sequential collection. A quarter from 2021 is worth 25 cents. Same as its base value quarter. Interesting. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take a look at the tattoo. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, go check out Peter Dorngrass's Instagram, mixed media artist, art that relive and daylight, delight in my, relieve and de delight my mind. My goodness, I cannot read today from Germany. Sweet. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh, I love some of these painting textures. Nicely done. Okay, I'm going to give you a follow and definitely go follow you on Twitch as well. Hold please, everybody. I'm definitely getting sidetracked a little bit, but I want to give Dorngrass a follow. It's too hot to read anyways. I'm so sorry that I'm so terrible at reading right now. All right, I'm gonna go follow you on Twitch. Here we go, follow, done. And you say that you are live almost every day, it said on your Instagram account. Live on Twitch almost every day, respect my friend. I am not live on Twitch almost every day, like at all. <laughs> Thank you, Zane. Thank you for understanding that. The part of Dawn's brain that would usually be occupied with literacy is mostly arting and noodling. Probably about 20% arting, 80% noodling, and then, you know, we're going to add a couple extra percents and like 5% just shooting the shit with you guys. Quick question about the Kickstarter. How is it coming along? Excellent question, Robert. Where we are at right now is that everything is being printed. So after the Kickstarter closed, we got the backer kit going. After the backer kit closed, then we uploaded all the files to the printer. Of course, we've been working with the printer the whole time, but we didn't actually you know, finalize the run until the Kickstarter was complete. Um, we are printing so many different things. So the calendars, two different versions of the calendars, a bunch of different comic books, two different hardback, four different hardback 
book editions anyway so there is a lot of there was a lot of back and forth as far as all the finishes and plans and everything like that so it definitely took longer than we were hoping however the print run is in progress right now i am waiting for some photographs hopefully from the printing and production so that i can do an update with pictures so that's what i'm hoping for right now and then I will uh, do an update that goes to everybody who backed the Kickstarter. Dorngrass was my first stream today, so we will see about that everyday part. <laughs> I hear you. Well, sometime if you're live, uh, while I'm live, guys, can you guys help me remember this too? Dorngrass, we would love to we i mean we as in all of us collectively i am not referring to myself in the royal we um i would really like to raid your channel sometime i don't know if you're familiar with oh yeah you just raided i was gonna be like are you familiar with raids <laughs> anyway um i am live at my time i live in calgary alberta so uh it's mountain time in north america Anyway, I'm live Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, 5 to 8 p.m. So when I'm done, I would love to raid your channel if you happen to be around. If Dawn did Twitch every day, the F-bomb count would be over 9,000. True story. And stamps if you sell your collection. <laughs> All right, sorry, next to and sorry, your battery is dead. See you later, Stanley. 70% shooting the shit you mean. Hey, Jeff, be nice. <laughs> Are you sure it's just 5%? Hey, all of you guys, I have made it abundantly clear to all of you, don't try too hard to understand my math. <laughs> You know, the math is, it's, it's, a fe it's feelings based math. <laughs> Don't burn your, I won't burn myself out, Robert. No worries. I just want to make sure that you guys get, well, not just me, JP Roth, Dan, and I have been working super hard to try to make sure that it is the prettiest books and everything ever. Um, so hopefully, I will have an update. Maybe I'll just do an update anyway for everyone on the Kickstarter um, so that no one feels that we've just kind of gone dark on you. Sorry, Stanley. Needs picture updates. Words be too hard. Dawn is our royal we always. <laughs> it's the heat, I know. Oh, hello, Red Sonia. Thank you. Diva Dawn and Tile to the Royal We. The kite flew for a brief moment. <laughs> I am really, really hot. Hello, Ben Cope. Thank you for joining. I'm out for now. See you later, Darn Grass. Canadian maths are so confusing. <laughs> oh, I'm being nice. <laughs> that moment when Dawn takes a huge chunk of the stream to defend that she's super focused on arting <laughs> during the stream. <laughs> Oh, now approaching 75%. God damn it. <laughs> All right, fine. I am going to commence with the work commencing. <laughs> All right, so I've got the light kind of coming from behind her, but also a little bit to the right. So it's more that the right side is where the light is really going to be hitting her her and you know I'm not making that yellow thing in the back the only light source I'm definitely you know playing loose with light sources 
He's over judging. It's 73. Nice. Thank you, Robert Dean. Brownie point for you. <laughs> Here we go. Ah. So what I'm going to do first is I do already have a decent idea of the background. Let's get started on Lady Death. Start plotting out the light sources on her. So I'm going to do a little steel steel again. Swipe! I'm going to take some shadow colors. Perhaps a really dark shadow for now. And then I'm going to actually set myself up swatches for Lady Death. Okay, so I use the like soft airbrush tool and I set the... Um, make the size pretty big and I set the opacity pretty low right now just so that I can you know just start slowly mapping out color really don't need much it just needs you know enough that I can um, start planning things out I'll start getting into actual detailed coloring later I definitely want her to have some nice cheekbones going on. Roger Dodger, hello, welcome to the stream. Do a quick save. Can type my chin chat issues are back wonderful stream will still be here oh sorry summer sebastian hello yes yay arting is happening all right then i fiddle around with the um the hardness tool uh, for the brush so like in the brush settings so that I can uh, make the brush have a little bit more airbrushy style or less um, and that really helps me be able to kind of get in and start doing some minor detailing now I'm gonna take the hardness down again we're just gonna start getting some shadows going in on her nose Think of this as like my color sketch. So I'm going to start laying some of these things down and then I'll come back in and make some more adjustments. But just getting the basics really helps me anyway. pretty intense shadow all the way down this side of her body. Because really the way that the, the light is coming from the side, which is kind of where I've got it planned in my head, um, this whole side of her body would pretty much be in shadow. So I'm going to try to um, keep that in the back of my mind as I'm setting up the light sources to try to have a good indication of this that side of her body otherwise it does kind of make her look a little too much like a tree trunk um, which is not what I'm going for I just didn't want to put a bunch of lines on her stomach so this I can handle in color you know and give her give her a little bit of muscle line a little bit of muscle tone but I can take care of that in the color as opposed to really hard lines, which, you know, sometimes can kind of affect the, the soft, soft look that I try to give her skin.
hugs back to you summer i know you're having trouble typing out anything so oh it's so sweet of you to keep posting emotes though <laughs> oh i see so now everybody's joining summer into an emote chat is that so that i'll stop reading comments or is this just for funsies Why not both? Yes. Nikki, hello. We like to think of it as emote-licious. Nice. Carry on. Oh, you've been here, just been quiet. Well, it's nice to see you, Nikki. Don, I'm watching Lady Death. Oh, cool. Sometimes it really sucks. Oh, wow, Jason. Fancy, though. I love this emotes thing. <laughs> and I can't start having emotes on my channel unless I go to, um, unless I make myself like affiliated or something, right? thing. Alright, I just lost all of the Twitch chats because Facebook did a, you know, re 
reissue of all the chats that have happened. So, you must be at least an affiliate to have channel emotes. You have to design them and such. You should easily be a partner. Huh. Well, I have not actually managed to get into the partner program yet, but frankly, I haven't. Uh, you guys helped me uh, qualify for affiliate on like the first, first two streams, or maybe it was like the first week of streaming, like so years ago. I just haven't done it. Because I do like being able to live stream to Facebook at the same time. And if you read the fine print, I think if you're an affiliate, you can't do that. Ah, oh, thank you, Don Lee. Welcome to the stream. Why do I look like Silver Sable from Spider-Man? <laughs> Huge suspicious. Hello. <laughs> I didn't believe in us or your, I know. I'm a fail. The Hushy, hello, thank you. <laughs> to be honest, Primal Pablo, I'm not entirely sure who you are referring to. <laughs> yes, technically you have to wait 24 hours after the original Twitch stream to post to Facebook or other socials as an affiliate, yes. Gotta watch out for the Twitch police. One of my favorite streamers just had a bunch of her emotes removed and banned. Yikes. Did she get banned? I need to look up Silver Sable. I'm very ashamed of myself, but I'm not sure I know who that is. All you draws, Lady Death. Not quite crayonic. I draw other things as well. I'm also co-creator of a comic book series that I draw the interiors for. Just hang around, you'll see. Uh, who am I looking up again? Cryonic. No, Silver Sable. Silver Sable. S I L V R. Silver Sable. Sweet! I wish my hair was that on point, man. <laughs> nice! I have never drawn her before. Cool! That is a very cool cover by... Man, I'd have to... I'm gonna have to look that at that closer. Silver Saber. I think that's Mahmoud. Uh, yeah. Oh, excellent cover. It's the first first image in the Google image search for Silver Sable. Cool. Yay. Rob's cover is Adi Granov. All right, let me take a look. Yes, that is definitely Adi Granov. No, I think the other one is Mam Mahmoud Asrar, I think is how. I'm, I may be pronouncing his name incorrectly. Let me get you guys the image that I am referring to. Oh, how do I do that? Well, here. Yeah, it's Mahmoud Asrar. I believe. Let me 
me see if I can get this one. Oh well. I'll just post this in the chat. It's this, the photo right there. All right, going back to arting. I'm sure Addie Granov did an amazing Wolverine cover. <laughs> Hattie Granov is a badass. Yeah, that's my mood, right? Thought so. keep track of the layers I have to name each one or I spend way too much time looking to see what it is oh yeah for sure and I end up if I'm going too fast Robert I will waste like going too fast to write them all down and label them yeah I'll end up wasting way more time than if I had just labeled them in the first place right now though the only layer that I'm working in is the actual root colors layer so it doesn't really matter um, so all the rest of those are actually like sketches that I'm planning out the, um, the alternate version. But if I was, uh, once I start moving more into the rest of the coloring and getting a little bit more detailed, I will start doing more layers and yes, then I have to label them. Right now I'm still kind of just loosely plotting out the lighting, some of my color choices. I'm probably going to, obviously her outfit is not going to be blue, I don't think. That would, if I decide to go blue with her outfit, I will be caught by surprise. <laughs> it is a, a me cooking. Running away, have a wondrous night. Aw, oh, see you later, Rob. Thank you for hanging out for a bit. You were awesome sauce. Tom, hello. I'm cooking tonight and I know I started the live stream late and I'm gonna have to leave early. So all in all, just a dawn fail kind of day. How are you doing, Tom? You love that gray and blue combo. Ooh, interesting, Nikki. Well, then maybe I need to consider it because I don't really recall having done much in the way of blue-toned items for Lady Death, but this is kind of the blue color cover. Maybe so. At least they approve the tassels, yes. What am I making tonight? Well, Keeman, I think tonight we usually have spaghetti. But, God, it's so hot. I don't even feel like boiling the water. Good, good. Finally got the AC fixed. Excellent. We appreciate that you were here at all. Oh, Devin, that's so sweet. It only cost 500 God damn, Tom. I'm so sorry. That is rough. Thank you. 
Any night is an ordering pizza kind of night. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I have to say, though, I am very grateful, even though my room is a little bit hot. Um, thankfully, the house that we're staying in right now has a basement, and the basement is actually underground. So it's, it's like having one floor in our house with air conditioning, even though it isn't. It's very cold down there. So we have all moved down to the basement. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Strohs. Miss Strohs, is that how I say it? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining. 39 degrees outside. Yeah, that's about what it's like here, believe it or not. It's in some places it's 39 degrees outside thank you for changing it to centigrade tom it's 35 in my room what's this basement thing you're talking are you mocking me i i remember my um my sarcasm meter is broken at the moment we are waiting for it to be fixed jonathan to answer your question about remarks at planet comic-con um I, whenever I take sketches or anything for a convention, the way that it is done is through my email list. So it's been a minute, I'm pretty rusty on the whole process, but <laughs> the way that I work it is my email subscribers get first dibs to any commissions that I am taking at any given show. The way, uh, the way I do it is about one week before the convention starts, I will send around an email to everyone on my email list. If you want to be on this, then subscribe to my email list. About a week before the show, I will send around a menu of sorts with like an example of a piece that I've done, the pricing that it would be, there's varying different pricing schemes for whatever you would like. If I am taking remarks, which I'm not saying I for sure will because they are my least favorite thing to do artistically. Um, I will be taking them through there. Um, and so I will have that out one week before the convention, right back as quickly as you possibly can. I will give everyone a heads up exactly what time that email will be going out because it's a little bit of a mad rush as far as how many slots I have available. Um, and then I do not accept payment until the art is complete. So no need to pay me in advance, but I do book in advance. Only Waffle Man commissions at Planet Comic Con. And I may decide that I'm just gonna take remarks and make it so that everybody gets a sketch as opposed to, you know, me taking an 11 by 17, which I never do, but you know, taking on a commission that's gonna take me a couple days. Maybe I'll change my mind and I still haven't figured out what I'm doing at the convention because still right now I am trying to um, hope and pray that I actually get to go, period. Only Waffle Man, okay, you got that right, Tom, same here. No basements in Arizona, okay. No basements in Florida either. So if I'm wrong, sorry, I had to Google that. What? Our house is that way, so we had to put an AC unit in our kids' room. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, that's good. I'm glad you did. That's so awesome, Jason. I'm in the wrong multiverse. <laughs> Pay in frozen margaritas. Oh, God, don't, actually. <laughs> Basement here in Georgia. Even though I love frozen margaritas, I am going to have to start being a virgin drink person. <laughs> I clearly cannot handle it. <laughs> Tell you about Jack. Hey, I think I'm caught up. Are you trying to get her drunk? No, it's that I actually really love slushy margaritas. I'm just going to have the slushy 
lime drink as opposed to the just I like everything about the margaritas just to take out the tequila <laughs> no I love the salt Dave Spence are an uncommon thing in Australia it's more addicts ah interesting am I supposed to say red Sonia on on yours R D E S O N I A All right. So she her skin um is supposed to be luminous and I do really like that with Lady Death. I just um I have a little tricky trick for that, which I will show you guys probably on the next stream on Thursday when I'm really doing a lot more of the defining coloring. This time I'm really plotting it out. I had a sluggish watermelon margarita on Saturday. What is a sluggish margarita? <laughs> or do, do you mean slushy? I'm bringing the iPad and Apple Pencil Digital Dawn C signatures. What for? I have AC with AC backup and extra AC. <laughs> oh, extra tequila. Ah. Is that the bat symbol on her forehead? No, it's ash. not want that to happen. All right, I'm going to paint her lips real quick. Lips. We're going to get a nice deep red color that I'm going to go ahead and thieve from my layout. Thieves. Yeah. Hello, Kevin. The banner is for Sworn Fest. Too big to travel with it. Robert says, I need to say thank you for streams because I've learned so much. Aw. Now applying it to my art. Just a pain when using a mouse instead of a pad. Aw, sorry, Robert Dean. Have you have you thought about maybe getting like a one of those tablets that you put to the side, like an Intuos something or other? You were sluggish after a few. <laughs> I'm so happy that the live streams have helped Robert Dean. That really, really is encouraging. Thank you. My monitor is very, very hot right now, which is so handy for me all, all other days of the year because it's usually very cold in here. Yeah, you could even get a bamboo that's like $60. Huon, Huon, yeah, I never know how to pronounce that. Is it Huon? They make some. I think it would make a huge difference for you, Robert. In case you've got like, yeah, I think they're like 50 or 60 bucks and I swear to God they last. You made hubby buy the, you an XP pen. You love it. Cosmic Nude has a hue on. One day I'll be getting a pad. One day. Okay, Robert. Completely understood. All right, so I am pretty much setting up a f flats of sort for her lips. So right now I'm just getting the basic flat red tone. 
And then I see how I feel about the shape of them because you know, when I, as you know, I don't really draw out Lady Death's lips or pretty much any character that I work on for that matter until it's time for digital coloring. For some reason, just hard lines on lips that I can't, no can do. Um, so I have to kind of see <laughs> if I was going in the right direction or not. So we'll look at this far away. I mean, she's got a little bit of like a porcelain doll thing going on right now, but you know what? I don't hate it. We're gonna make them look a little softer as we go along. Any plans for New York? I did not sign up for New York, Tom. I did sign up with Read Pop, which, you know, they do New York, C2E2, Emerald City. I thought that it was too risky to sign up for New York Comic Con because I, you know, Canada didn't look like it was opening up anytime soon and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll play it safe and do the December shows. So I will sign up for New York Comic Con maybe next year. You had a tablet once, it died a horrible death when it didn't work correctly. <laughs> Were you the one who killed it? Now I'm just selecting her lips and we're going to start coloring them in. All right, let's get slightly lighter tone now. Oh, uh, we're dealing with the summer sun again. Let's see if we can fix this a little bit. Configure video. Oh yeah, the game just went insane. Still super shiny, what is happening? I guess I just will be kind of shiny. <laughs> Fair enough, Tom. Yeah, uh, New York is a is an expensive show to go to. That is for sure. All right. Well, that's better for now. Chicken heed, hello, welcome to the stream. Coming to Louisville anytime soon, not that I'm aware of. Like I'm really, you know, slowly dipping my toes back into the comic convention situation. Um, so I haven't really started booking in earnest or anything like that. I'm just kind of carrying on with the shows that I was kind of pre, I was already planning to go to before everything shut down, if that makes sense. Are we talking about conventions? Yes, we are. <laughs> See you later, math artist. Take care. Catch you next time. Could we call the pen and stream corner con? I love that. Absolutely. I'm going to write that down. All right. That was Zane. I've got to write this down. Penance stream. I love that. <laughs> well done, Zane. Brilliance. I have
have it written down. Thank you, Philip. Expo Toronto, hopefully October. You know, I'm not sure. I need to I need to look into that one and see if I was uh if my um booking was carried over from you know before COVID. I I thought I was going and now I need to look into it. Brendan Fraser announced for Calgary. Yay! Denver's got taken over by Fan Expo and they're doing a con at the end of October. Uh that's so cool, Chicken Heed. This is the time he is locked in the corner until the next stream. Oh no! She does have a little bit of a punk rock hair thing going on. I'm cool with that. Cool cosmic newt. Not not taken as one. What's four hundred? Jeff, I'm not sure what you mean about 400. Oh, DPI. Yes, this is 400 DPI. Did somebody ask that and I just haven't seen it? All right, I might, I might make, extend her lips just a little bit on the corners. 
kind of think that I want them just a little bit wider, but let's see how that looks. What? Oh, he was answering you. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Straight up missed that. Digging the choker. Really, Tom? That's an interesting observation. And I'm glad you like it. Allow locked users to post, but their words get replaced with something ridiculous every time. I wonder if there's a way we can do that. Yay, that's so awesome. Jeff, thank you. Why 400 DPI? Highest I've gone is 300. Um, honestly, that was because uh, one colorist that I worked with um, was very intense about it being 400 DPI. And um, so I started doing it for that, or maybe it was even 600 DPI. But whenever I do 600 DPI, um, my computer kind of chugs a little bit. So I do 400. Um, really because sometimes, you know, you, you want the image to get blown up a little bit more or, you know, it ends up being more, uh, you end up wanting to print it as a banner or something like that. So having higher DPI really helps. If it goes to 11, why stop at 10? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, my scanner either scans at 300 or 600 DPI. So I scan everything at 600 and then I bump it down to 400 because my computer chugs. I've been 1,000 DPI. <laughs> ah, that's funny. All right, I don't like the Cupid's bow in her lip very much. I'm honestly not a fan of it ever, so I'm getting rid of that right now. I think I'm going to erase down the size of her lips a little bit too. They're just a little intense, maybe. Banners only print at 150 DPI. I used to work at a printer. Interesting. Steve looks better in low resolution. Alright, let's go back to her skin for a while. Oh, that made it worse. Okay. I don't know if I like, yeah, I have done something that I don't care for. I prefer her lips with no, yeah, no, that is not what I wanted. Bummer, it ruins her face.
this is all very interesting about banner printing. I mean, all I know is the places that I print with and 300 DPI is the lowest quality you can submit for uh, comic book art and printing banners. And it's probably just the, the banner size that I do or the place that I print it, but that is, that's what, what I work in. I'm sure it's different for everyone else. Is that a little bit better? True, true. Uh, it is part of Lady Death's uh, character info that she always has red lips. Now, sometimes I can play with that a little bit and make them maybe not ruby red, um, but usually, yes, it is ruby red. I don't love the way these look, but maybe they'll just have to do for now. All right, let's get some more of this background going on. I might honestly not even stick to all the, um, the print shop you worked in wanted 300 DPI. Oh, okay, so you, you get it. Yeah, I, I don't work in billboard sizing. That's, that's a very different story. I work in like, you know, small banners, like eight foot by four feet and print stuff like books. Just Robbie, good night. Talk to you all later. Thank you, Robert Dean. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you for hanging out. You love the supersized arts. That's awesome. I've got to turn off her lips. I'm sorry, you guys. It's driving me crazy. There's, I'm going to need to redo those. I did not like at all. So interesting. Where something, you know... I, I'm starting to find myself col coloring zoomed out more often than not because if I'm too zoomed in like I was with the lips, I, I don't know, I, it doesn't look great. Oh, that's so sweet, Zane. 13 minutes left. Okay, thank you so much, Philip. Scriber, hello, welcome to the stream. My evening is going well. I hope yours is too. Oh my goodness, welcome. 
welcome to the stream. It's so good to see you. I find I have to turn off my lips sometimes too. <laughs> Temperature check. What am I at now? 36.1 in centigrade. 97 flat in Fahrenheit. 12 pound turkey. I find when I paint too zoomed in, I start to get lost in the detail. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, Zane. Brandy, how are you doing? You've been missed. What are you at with uh, anime shows in general? Need to progress. Updates. I was on a stream in an old account last year as Acorn. Oh, I left Twitch and social media last year. I'm so happy to hear you're doing better, Scriber. I do remember Acorn. Thank you for coming back. And I hope that this time your experience in social media is more positive. I really do. Heb, thank you. Oh, it's Travis. Hello, Travis. It did go up. I am roasting and toasting. But also, I'm kind of used to it now, so at least there's that. <laughs> I want to soften that transition a little bit. 21 is so nice. God damn it, Jeff. I'm somewhere in season six of Hunter. Sort of watching Death Note and waiting anxiously for the next season of My Hero. <laughs> Excellent update, Brandy. I love it. So happy to hear that, Scriber. Baking cakes in over 90 degrees. I know. Brandy, you are, I'm sure you're baking those cakes because there's somebody counting on you and someone who you're going to make very happy for it. So, you're a saint. Mad respect to you, Brandy. But it is, I, I'm going to play my, my sympathy violin. I've been playing it. Brandy gets a special serenade of my sympathy violin. Because it's very hot to be baking today. If Edmonton is anything like here in Calgary, which I can imagine, it may even be hotter for you guys, the sympathy violin will play. Do-do-do. Do-do-do. <laughs> I have to get up at 2 a.m. on Friday to make three dozen cupcakes because that's about when it'll be the coolest. Good Lord! I would move my oven outside if I needed to bake a bunch of cakes. Talking with my remote team and being in Florida and being the cool weather team member for a change. Oh, wow. That's right, it's the Sympathy Concerto. I love that, Steve. You're at 37 right now. I don't know what it is for us outside, but it's 36 in my art room. <laughs> so you must be winning there, Brandy.
apparently it was feels like 40 with humidity. Oh, that is so rough. <laughs> Don McTay had to switch to digital now since art supplies were costing a lot. <laughs> no, not quite, Scriber. I have uh, actually gotten more art supplies and have started delving into um, oil paints as well. So uh, hopefully next week I'm going to be back to traditional work. I've just been finishing up this cover run. So soon. All right. Now what I want to do, somehow I end up spending more in digital. Seriously, Hyatt Art? That's crazy. All right. I want to start plotting out some of the reds. Let's get some fun reds going on. I, um, I have to be honest with you guys, I do not really have an alternate color plan for like the environment um, so I'm gonna need to figure that out you're doing oil painting yeah I am well you know I'm still on my first oil painting scriber it, it honestly is taking me a minute to get to get through <laughs> my first painting um, hopefully I'll be finished with it soon um, and then Hopefully, also, I will have more experience with all of this soon, too. Are we doing a raid tonight? Um, I wasn't planning on it just so that I can kind of dash out quickly and get dinner done, because I also really need to, like, wash a bunch of dishes in the sink. <laughs> so it's cook and clean and make sure dinner's ready on time. I hope that's all right. Unless perhaps there's someone that we can raid that I can like, you know, say hi and bye real quick without seeming rude. Computer upgrades, new tablet display, new software to draw in. Think about that cost of rendering Adobe. <laughs> Yes, King Sherlock is getting his spa treatment and extra spa treatment. I read that for cats, if they're really hot or they're seeming hot, something you can do if they'll let you is like give them a little washcloth bath <laughs> with like a washcloth with cold water or something and get their fur a little bit damp and then, you know, it'll cool them off. So I've been doing that with Sherlock a few times today is just wiping him down with a w wet washcloth and he seems to be loving it so I'm doing that for him every so often for real Tom that's so cool yay hello Jay Taylor I take partial non-legal based credit for the lockup idea. Which is the lockup? Does a washcloth even cover 5% of Sherlock? <laughs> oh, you do have a point there, Steve. I see. We 
have tried that two 12 pound turkey. He just doesn't respond to that. So we've started like giving him a little, uh, we have like little gel packs that, you know, I've had for the kids when they were like babies and stuff. So it's like a little, a little round gel cooling pack and it's got like a little tiger stuffed pillowcase kind of thing around it. And so we've been petting Sherlock while well, the kids have been petting Sherlock with these little gel packs. <laughs> he likes that too. It is a long drawing glove. I, uh, I actually made it for myself for working on a Cintiq. Specifically for the hot summery month. If he gets a petting out of it, I'm sure he won't complain. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't seem to mind too much. So who are we raiding? Time before the minions attack. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's see. Let's see if there's someone I can raid. I don't want to just leave you guys if that's not particularly great. So let me go take a quick look. Jubilina, Michael De Nicola. Because we raided... Um, Waxing. Lofi and Star Wars colored pencils. There's a few new people as well that I've... There's someone named Rafe. No, Raid. Okay, so this is gaming. All right, give me one second, everybody. <laughs> Just a couple minutes. Let's get a raid. All right. We're going to raid. She's drawing Star Wars. All right, let me... I'm going to give her a quick follow real quick, and then we're going to raid. There we go. Quick, quick, quick. Read R E I D F I D F R E I D F. Okay, here we go. Started the raid. Let's go say hi. And Brandy, it was so good to see you. It was so good to see all of you guys tonight. Um, Thank you for joining me on sort of the flats cleanup and setup to start getting the colors going. On Thursday, I will have more color stuff going on for you to see. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining me on raiding and let's go do that. And I will see you in my email tomorrow uh, for those who are subscribed and I'll catch you on Sunday stream as well. No, Thursday stream. <laughs> Love you guys a ton. Have a wonderful evening. Goodbye and let's go raid.